What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gaming Expedient. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter to keep updated with my daily life and also my YouTube channel. So let's get started. A new live action ad for Halo 5 Guardians aired during The Walking Dead last night. In that trailer, Microsoft announced that Halo 5 Guardians will be released on the Xbox One on October 27, 2015. This will be the first Halo game to be released exclusively on the Xbox One. In the trailer, we see a statue of Master Chief right in the center, and you see Loke walking up to it. It seems like he's talking to the statue, but he's addressing Master Chief, saying this is all his fault for what he's done to the city. They're trying to remember it as a hero he was and not what he did to the city. And so near the end of the trailer, you see him pull out his pistol, then it just goes straight to the Halo logo. They also released another trailer that night, but it was the opposite of the previous one. You have the same setting and everything, except this time, you see Master Chief walking up to the statue, and he's addressing Loke, and he's pretty much saying, was it all worth it? And it ends in the same manner. You have Master Chief pull out his pistol, aiming at him, then it goes straight to the Halo logo. I've only played a couple of multiplayer matches for Halo and watched a couple of videos, so I haven't really played a lot of Halo or really been looking forward to any of playing it really at all. But then once I saw these two trailers, I got excited for it. So when the game come out, comes out on the 27th of October, I'm going to have to find a friend or someone at all who has the game so I can play it because it looks really good so far. Black Tusk Studio, who is the developer for the next entry in the Gears of War franchise, posted an image of a motion capture set for the next game. Black Tusk's Jack Felling posted a picture to his Twitter showing an actor holding one of the guns in the game. But for once, I have played Gears of War 2. It was during my trip to Mexico back in 2010, if you guys were watching me back then. That's pretty much when I started. And the resort I stayed at had a gaming room, I guess you could say. They had chairs that you just roll back and forth on the ground. I think there were four TVs set up with four Xbox 360s, because we all know everybody played Xbox 360 instead of PS3. It's just how it was. And they had a few games. They had a Pirates game. That's the game I played as well. And I also played Gears of War 2. And what I experienced of it, is that of it there was that it was really fun. First time I've actually played the game, so I was new to it. But Gears of War, the new thing they released, um, I'm not really that much into it because, again, I, I don't have an Xbox to begin with. And I've only played Gears of War 2, so I have no clue what's going on. Maybe before they start announcing release dates and stuff, I'll start watching some more gameplay. And maybe if that gets me interested at all, I have to find someone who has the game as well, so I can enjoy it. Ubisoft has revealed Rainbow Six Siege, Art of Siege Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition comes with the game, of course, a Collector's Edition box, gold skins for all weapons in the game, and a 120-page tactical guide offering information on the counter-terrorist unit, operator, weapons, and the map. Ubisoft has also guaranteed that anyone who pre-orders the game, either physically or digitally, will receive a key to the closed beta later this year. And if you don't want to get it digitally, you can always get it physically, and you'll receive a steel book in that case. I haven't actually played any of the Rainbow Six games, so I don't have any experience with them at all. But close to when the game comes out, I'll check them out to see if it's a game that I'd be interested in or not. Thanks for watching today's episode of Gaming Expedient. As always, the sources for this video are in the description down below as well as both trailers for Halo 5 Guardians. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. I can't believe I did that.